Elon Musk his explanation about the mysterious lights in the sky. If you have lately looked up into the night sky, you could have been shocked to see a string of bright lights moving across from one side to the other. These lights could have caught your attention since they moved so quickly. Just what is going on here? Hello everyone, and welcome to our channel's another video. In today's video we are going to discuss Elon Musk's explanation about the mysterious lights in the sky. Stay tuned to find out. So let's start our video. The lights can be seen in clusters of up to 60 each in a single line. People in many countries, including the United States and the United Kingdom, have reportedly seen them, and various theories have been put forward to explain the phenomenon, including UFOs and alien invasions. Of course. But do not be afraid. These lights are actually satellites that were put into orbit by the United States corporation SpaceX, which is owned and operated by the South African businessman Elon Musk. And some people have differing opinions about them. These satellites are a component of a network that is known as Starlink. SpaceX is undertaking this initiative with the goal of sending thousands of satellites into orbit and then transmitting internet signals down to Earth from space. SpaceX has high hopes that they will be able to fund flights to Mars with this. About 360 of these satellites have been successfully launched by SpaceX since the company's maiden flight in May 2019. Each one has a big solar panel that reflects sunlight and weighs around 260 kilos. Its dimensions are comparable to those of a car that has been flattened. The ultimate objective of SpaceX is to fill the area of space surrounding the Earth with these satellites. They want to operate 12,000 Starlink satellites in space, with the number reaching as high as 42,000 if necessary. One can refer to this as a gigantic constellation. The satellites are launched in batches of 60 at a time, and SpaceX's goal is to launch around twice as many batches each month as they currently do. However, they have not quite accomplished that frequency of launches just yet. When the satellites are sent into orbit on the reusable Falcon 9 rockets manufactured by the business, they are positioned in an orbit approximately 290 kilometers above the surface of the Earth. After that, the satellites will use the ion engines already installed on board to boost their height into the operational orbits that range from 340 to 550 kilometers in diameter. The completion of this task may take a few months. Because of their reflecting surfaces, satellites can appear to be particularly visible in the night sky during these months when they pass over your location. When the sun is barely below the horizon, between the hours of twilight and dawn, the satellites reflect the light of the sun back onto the surface of the Earth, causing them to shine with a considerable amount of brilliance. When viewed from above, the satellites appear to be a bright train of light because they circle the Earth in such a way that they follow one after the other. The ultimate objective of SpaceX's Starlink project is to provide high-speed internet access to every single location on Earth, from London to Antarctica. People will then be required to pay a charge in order to access the service, which is anticipated to provide speeds that are inferior to those of fiber broadband but superior to those of existing satellite internet providers. Concerns have been voiced, however, over the large number of satellites that SpaceX is planning to launch. Currently, there are only roughly 2,000 operational satellites in Earth's orbit, SpaceX plans to raise this number by at least 6 times and possibly by up to 21 times. This creates a significant danger of satellites in Earth's orbit colliding with one another. If two satellites collide, one or both of them may explode, leaving behind thousands of fragments of smaller debris. This took place in 2009 between a satellite in the United States and one in Russia. After that, each of these separate pieces of debris may have an effect on other satellites. This could result in the Kessler syndrome, often known as the worst case scenario, in which portions of Earth's orbit become useless. This phenomenon was brought to widespread attention in the film Gravity. One more thing that raises concern is that the satellites shine brighter than 99% of the other spacecraft visible in the night sky. Astronomers have complained that this fact makes it more difficult for them to do research on the cosmos. Satellites are to blame. The satellites can appear in telescope photographs as bright streaks, which can disrupt studies of galaxies and stars. Astronomers are concerned about the number of satellites that can be seen in the night sky due to the imminent launch of a significant number of additional satellites. It is possible, according to some estimates, that hundreds of Starlink satellites will always be visible in the night sky from any position on Earth. 
This can destroy the night sky's natural beauty and make astronomy significantly more challenging. There are currently no laws or regulations in place that are intended to preserve the aesthetic value of the night sky. On the other hand, some individuals are working toward changing that and may be taking legal action against SpaceX. For its part, SpaceX has stated that it is working to address these issues. Concerning the possibility of collisions, it claims that each of its satellites is fitted with an autonomous system to steer clear of other spacecraft in the vicinity. Nevertheless, this mechanism failed in September of 2019, which resulted in a dangerously close encounter with a European science satellite. The business has also stated that it is working to reduce the satellite's brightness. It launched a Starlink satellite in January 2020 that had been painted with black paint to reduce the amount of light reflected off it. The first findings indicate that once this Starlink satellite reached its operational orbit, it did appear to be less bright than the other Starlink satellites. Despite this, it continued to shine brightly over the months it took to reach this orbit. Additionally, the corporation is collaborating with other astronomy organizations to investigate potential approaches that could reduce the interference that Starlink satellites cause for astronomers' work. On the other hand, Elon Musk has stated that he believes there will be zero difficulties. To date, SpaceX has successfully launched 3,000 satellites, which is 3% of the initially planned constellation of 12,000 satellites and 0.9% of the possible number of 42,000 satellites it could launch. According to one school of thought, many of the issues that have been encountered with the satellites should have been resolved before SpaceX began to launch them. However, there are currently no laws or regulations that prevent SpaceX from sending more and more Starlink satellites into orbit. This means that the company can continue to do so. Before the coronavirus pandemic arose, the corporation had intended to deploy approximately 1,500 Starlink satellites by the end of 2020, to initially bring their service online in the United States of America and Canada. That may now alter. However, for the time being, you will likely continue to notice trains of satellites moving across the sky at night. You may find out when they will be visible over your location by using websites such as Find Starlink or by making use of this convenient tool. The next launch of SpaceX's Starlink satellite, which will be the company's eighth overall, is slated to take place from Cape Canaveral in Florida on Tuesday, April 22. That's all for today's video. Tell us in the comment section how was today's video. I hope that you find this video interesting. You can subscribe and watch more videos on our channel to keep up with more content. See you in the following video with some more notable facts and stories, and until then, stay tuned to Elon Musk News.